the top rhetoric about Trump. It's, they, they just can't help themselves. They have to go over the top on every element. So here's Whoopi Goldberg talking about Donald Trump. And it's not just that she disagrees with what Trump is doing. Donald Trump is now, you guessed it, the Taliban. We have a leader who has repeatedly dem demeaned women, right. wants to defund organizations that benefit women, calling on the media to shut up, specifically wants to give preferential treatment based on religion. Uh, are these values really much different than the Taliban's? Mm. I mean... Yes. They are. It turns out that Donald Trump is not the Taliban. He's not in favor of honor killings. Donald Trump, in fact, it's to stop the Taliban from coming in the country that he's implementing some of these immigration policies. That is the basic idea behind all of this. And I'd be very surprised if in the future his immigration moratorium does not extend to Afghanistan. Okay, the fact is Donald Trump's entire stated purpose with regard to stopping an influx of immigrants from countries like Yemen and Somalia is because he doesn't want the culture of certain areas of the world infiltrating. What he means by that is radical Islam. It's not a Muslim ban because radical Islam and Islam are not the same thing, but it is an attempt to fight the infiltration of radical Islam into the West. So no, Donald Trump is not like the Taliban. The idea that Donald Trump is the Taliban because he is, at least in policy, pro-life. The idea that Donald Trump is the Taliban because Donald Trump doesn't want me to pay for your contraceptives. The idea that Donald Trump is the Taliban because Donald Trump is undertaking immigration reform that is in large part moderate. I mean, it really is. Again, of the 10 most populous Muslim countries on earth, nine of them are still able to send whoever they want to the United States. Citizens from those countries can enter. And there are going to be lots of exceptions to Donald Trump's new immigration policy. The Democrats cannot help themselves. The left has to, they have to portray Donald Trump as Satan more than Satan. And there, there, is, there is something here that I think is kind of fascinating. And that is on both sides, on both sides of the aisle, there's a tendency to attribute to the other side some sort of masterful genius. So on the left, instead of them just saying, Donald Trump, kind of incompetent, doing some things I don't like, meh, right? Which is, if you're a leftist, that's sort of what you would be saying if you're a relatively rational leftist at this point. Donald Trump is doing things I don't like, but man, he really doesn't even know what he's doing. I mean, this is pretty incompetent. That's, that's what, if I were on the left, that's what I would be saying at this point. But instead of doing that, they have to attribute to Donald Trump satanic, all-knowing power. Right, Donald Trump is secretly the Taliban. He's secretly Hitler. He secretly has a plan to take over everything and run it. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Right, and on the right, we used to do the same thing with Obama. It wasn't just that Obama was incompetent in the rollout of Obamacare. It was all part of his evil plan. Right, everything that, that Obama did was all part. It was all part of the plan. Right, it was, it was all part of this evil, evil plan. Here's the truth. Most of the people in government suck at their jobs. Because most people in America suck at their jobs. Most adults suck at everything. Okay, the great lie of being an adult is that other adults know what they're doing. They generally don't. We all sort of muddle through, and then we hope for the best. The same is true in government. Because we attribute this level of mastery to government, we think it matters so much who heads the government, and when someone we like is in charge, we want that person to have more power. Because after all, if he's our side, we think he's the master of the universe, right? So when Donald Trump botched this, this executive order rollout, he had people saying it's 40 chess. It's 40 chess. No, it's not 40 chess, okay? If it's 40 chess, it's the kind of 40 chess like in Star Wars where you don't play chess with the Wookiee because he gets mad and rips out your arms, right? It's not actually Donald Trump playing four-dimensional chess in time, right? That's not what's going on here. But because there are so many people who have a religious belief that our leaders know what they're doing, they say, give them more power, they know what they're doing. It hasn't been true for 100 years. We've muddled through anyway, but it hasn't been true for 100 years. You want to actually have a better country? Stop treating the people in government as though they're experts and know what they're doing all the time with evil plans or good plans and just say, you know what, whether they're evil, whether they're good, let's just cut the power of government totally and then it won't matter because they're incompetent. It won't matter if they're evil, it won't matter if they're good, they can't do anything. Right? What I would prefer is if we treated Washington, D.C. like it was the DMV and took as much power away as humanly possible. Okay, this, this, Everybody is trying to turn... Donald Trump into Darth Vader on the left. And on the right, everybody tried to turn Barack Obama into Darth Vader. And I, listen, I think Obama was in many ways more competent than Trump is at a lot of things. And I think he had more plans than Trump does. I think Trump is pretty ad hoc. But, Donald, but, but Obama wasn't in charge of things either. It turns out very few people are actually Darth Vader. Very few people are actually capable of being Darth Vader. And so that means that we should actually take power away from them. And the, if you're really that worried about Darth Vader, by the way, on the left, if you're really that worried about Donald Trump being Darth Vader, how about this? Instead of him running the empire, let's downsize the empire so it's just the most Eisley DMV. And then you don't have to worry about it. That'd be the easiest way to fix this problem.